What's up, guys? It's me, your badass, Ernest Traven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Safari Zone, caught ourselves a nice bundle of Pokemon, and well, guess what? We're slowly but surely getting back the team, because, uh, guess who we caught in the last episode? Oh my god, Bonesaw! Yes, homeboy here is back. It's a dragon type Pokemon and it has some pretty darn good moves. So, we're gonna keep him on the team for just a little bit because, well, we can. We really can. And it could be beneficial when we go up against a Sabrina right here. I don't know. So, let's go right ahead and uh, start our battles in the gym, okay? So, um, Lexi, we are gonna be taking on some uh, poison type Pokemon right here, I would assume. Now, I'm gonna put Gigalith up here. Just in case. But I'm going to lose my, you know what, if they come out with psychic type Pokemon just like in, uh, you know, the original versions. Now, this place is more special type Pokemon than anything, so here we go, going up against a juggler. And, well, here he comes out with a Ponyard, so I kind of screwed up right there because, well, Ponyard is a Steel and uh, Dark type Pokemon. Can't do anything against that guy, so let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. And, uh,. Yeah, the array of, uh, oh wow, he's switching Pokemon too? You asshole. Okay, low kick attack. So, yeah, the array of changing Pokemon continues, guys. Trust me, I know. It kind of gets a little frustrating, and, well, we do have the experience all good gravy. I completely forgot, so let's go through that. There we go. We're going to use the speed button for that, too. Uh, but like I was saying, guys, um, the array of switching Pokemon continues right here because, you know, I kind of want to try every single little Pokemon. Unova has some pretty good Pokemon. It's just I kind of want to use them all, you know? Kind of want to use them all, all. And, well, we have defeated the juggler. I am thinking maybe I should I need to get rid of that experience all because I'm pretty sure many of you guys don't want to see, uh, don't want to see the whole, uh, the constant, uh, speed buttons and all that stuff. Yeah, okay. So we're going to be doing that. So anywho, guys, um, in our last episode, too, we actually got ourselves, uh, let's see, we, we actually got ourselves the HMO3, the HMO4, and, well, yeah, HMO3, HMO4, experience all, and a whole bunch of items in the Safari Zone. And, let's see, um, the goal was, the goal is, well, the goal was to get the Surf Technique because, yeah, we wanted to use the Missing No Cheat in the next episode. Uh, we want to see if it actually works here. That's the thing. We want to know if it want. We want to see if it, if it actually works. Now, if it can't, if it doesn't, then oh well. But if it does, then well, guess who's uh, maximizing everything, including his nuggets, including everything else. I just heard myself say that his nuggets. <laughs> Anywho, um, and yeah, I get it, guys. A lot of you guys would want me to do this legitimately, but this is a hack game, okay? How do you think I fi uh, like? How do you think I fixed up, or how do you think I, I finished uh, Liquid Crystal? It's gonna happen like that whenever I get the chance to. And if you, if you guys have an issue with it, then oh well, guys. I'm sorry, but you know we're playing the game. I want to play the game, and look at this. We got the surf technique right here. Now, the reason to like the reason why I, I'm doing it too is because. I actually want to get every single one of these Pokemon in my PC, or in my Pokedex. Um, you, it would seem that you can actually get every single one of them, uh, trade or not. I mean, Genesect uh, was offered before we got here, and uh, I believe Shelmet and... Shelmet and what's his name? Um, what was it? Genesect or... Shelmet and the other Pokemon, they actually, uh, you know, they can evolve through trade or they can evolve through level 40. That's what I found out over at the Sylph Co. So, you know, pretty lofty goals, but it's okay. It's all right. You know, I'm here to just complete the game and I want to see, like, I want to see if I can uh, actually get it all done right here. So, here we go, another juggler, and, well, he's coming out with a Ponyard. So, right now, I am not learning my lesson, I think. Hold on. Mud shots. Yes, it is super effective. Okay, so as long as... Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> He's throwing out another Ponyard. Huh. Okay, Scratch Attack is not going to work right there. So here we go. Mud Shot for the win. And, well, its speed has gone down. But it's going to go with Leer Attack right here. So here we go. Mud Shot yet again. And Ponyard defeated. Oh, yes. And, well, let's see. 
Ponyard's coming out again. So let's just continue on right here with a good old mud shot. Mudslide ready for mud shot, and mud shot has done it again. Oh my god, okay. And so far my Pokemon are, you know, they're kicking ass. I'm loving it. And well, off screen. I accidentally battled some of the surfers uh, down screen, down south of Fuchsia. And that allowed my dearling to actually learn a new move, which is Jump Kick. And, well, it's a lot more powerful than Double Kick, I'll tell you that right now. And here comes a Fury Kick, or Fury Swipes Attack. And, well, let's go right ahead, and, well, yeah, we're gonna hit, get hit three times, and, well, yeah, we get hit. So let's go with a Faint Attack, and, well, this guy right here is withdrawing his Pokemon, which is freaking ridiculous. So let's see, Fan Attack does it, but it's not super effective. But this guy, like, is gonna continue to—he's uh, going to continue to uh, withdraw his Pokemon. What the hell are you doing, man? Okay. Either the AI is messed up, or I don't know. So let's go straight to Oinkinator right here. Let's go, Oinkinator. Let's do it. And wow. Okay, you do realize I'm going to destroy you. Here we go. Low kick attack. For the win, there we go. And well, here we go again with another Ponyard. So we're just gonna stay right here. We're just gonna destroy this Ponyard. It has quadruple uh, weakness to low kick, and low kick does it. Okay, alrighty. And there we go. Juggler has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So let's continue on right here. And this guy wants to battle me. He's like, I also study the way of the ninja with the Master Koga. Ninjas have a long history of using animals. Now, are Pokemon animals or are they just Pokemon? I want to know. I really do. Alright, so here we go, going up against a Tamer, and he's coming out with his Whirlipede. And, well, let's see. I wonder if ground type attack works. Yeah, it does. Okay. But this guy does have a high defensive uh, stat right here, so gonna be a little tough just to defeat and well that is super effective and here comes its agility attack right here and well it's going to continue to weaken my stats right here so let's go again mud shot come on oh gravy mud shot okay so we're almost there and its speed has fallen yeah this guy's just increasing and decreasing everything so here we go bite attack holy crud okay stop it there we go mud shots for the win whirlipede defeated and well look at that mudslide growing to level 29 coming out with a croc rock let's just continue on right here let's go with a surf attack and well that sand attack is not going to do anything good but here comes that surf so I kind of feel like my Pokemon are starting to get it on its own. And good gravy nearly defeated this guy. And, oh, great. Yeah, okay. So we were defeated. Let's go straight to Deerling. We do have a move that can defeat this guy. And he will take, oh, wow. Okay, all right. <laughs> and we crash. Okay, so let's go with a fan attack. There's the dig attack. Doesn't really work against Deerling, but wow takes a boatload of its HP but at the end Deerling wins and well let's see coming out with a Whirlipede let's just go ahead and go to Oinkinator and maybe it's time for me to stop giving everybody opportunities and we could just just destroy this guy straight up right here let's go Ember attack for the win okay alrighty and well there's an agility well, I don't know why you're doing that but it will work and well let's see why are you... Okay, so uh, seriously, why are you going with the Bug Bite? Ember Attack for the win. And there goes Oinkinator. And look at that. Grows to level 41. Okay. All right, so we're facing some pretty good challenges right now. All right, let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon right here. And, well, Deerling took a nice beating right here. So, let's see. You know what? Let's give one rare candy... To mudslide now that's at level 30 finally and let's see uh, yeah we're supposed to kill our Pokemon right here too there we go mudslide and then well let's see give it to Deerling right here okay all right so 
that right there is that and well now we're gonna have to move on and take on some other trainers now I'm gonna get this guy right here and well let's see we gotta get dealing up to level 30 because we it's not it's not fair that you know you guys still haven't gotten to level 30 right here now here we go going up against another juggler and he will have two Pokemon he of course is coming out with his Duosion and well, it's at level 34 I think we could take it I think we could take it you know fan attack look at that okay and <laughs> wow wow they are uh, they are literally uh, switching off and well here comes a Psybeam and that right there hits me hard. Okay, well, again, we're probably going to have to stop giving uh, these Pokemon opportunities. We have to do things for ourselves right here. And here comes a Hypnosis. Does not work. So let's go Crunch Attack. And there goes Gotharita. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes. And he's going to be coming out with a Duosion. We're going to stay put right here with Duosion. So here we go. Crunch Attack does it okay alrighty look at that okay so there's another Pokemon trainer defeated dropped his balls <laughs> oh my god oh my god the references they're hilarious and yes we're gonna have to heal our Pokemon yet again because well we don't know how to save our Pokemon so here it is dearling and well I have a hunch that this guy may have some psychic type or may have a yeah, you may have a psychic type. So let's go with Bone Saw right here. See what he's all about and stop right there. Our invisible walls gave you frustrated or no? Didn't get me frustrated. Trust me on this one. Alrighty. Let's go. Coming out with the Whirlipede. He's got level 34. And well, here we have Bone Saw ready to go. And he's going to go with the Dragon Rage attack right here. Automatic 40 points. And that takes more than half its HP right there. Okay, okay, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be to be a hard hitting attack right here. Okay, look at that. Okay, so Bone Saw is really kicking some butt right here. So let's continue on right here. Let's just continue on with Bone Saw. And well, let's see, Amoongus. Look at that big old pile of you know what. So let's go with a slash attack. And that is a critical hit. Here comes a toxic attack. Now, as we all know, toxic progresses badly every single turn. It takes more and more points until you just, you know, you're, you're done. And, well, here comes a, a hit of that, that, that toxic right there. And, well, here we go. Let's go ahead and use another Dragon Rage. Hopefully this one will win us, win us the fight. And, well, that does not do anything, and yes, we are losing a little bit more, and here comes that Mega Drain. Good gravy. And, well, there goes Bone Saw. Alright. Let's see. Let's go with Giga Lift. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's go with the Fly Attack. And, well, the Mega Drain does not work, so here goes a Fly Attack for the win. There we go, and Gigalith does it. Okay, alrighty, so that's another one done. Now we gotta revive our Pokemon yet again. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And, well, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and use one more Hyper Potion onto Bone Saw. And, well, hold on just a sec, guys. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. So I needed to go to the restroom. It was pretty, really bad, guys. Um, yeah, I'm back. And, well, here we go. We're going to be taking on Koga himself. And, well, uh, let's see. I'm going to have to start off with Croc Rock right here because I don't know what this guy's going to bring. Uh, especially with the array of, uh, you know, the Pokemon that we have right here. So, let's see what he's got. <laughs> a mere child like you dares to challenge me? Very well. I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. You shall fear the despair of poison and sleep techniques. 
Alrighty, here we go. And yes, I love this music. So here it is, guys. Gym battle number five against Koga himself, and he is coming out with his Whirlipede. Okay, so he's, uh... You know, he's gonna be playing serious right here, especially with the Whirlipede, you know. Very, very strong Pokemon, and here comes a Bug Bite, which would be super effective against Kill Croc right here. And, well, that right there hits me pretty hard. Okay, so let's go with a Mud Shot. And look at that, der, Willerpede defeated. And yes, we're getting some experience points. And here comes an Amoongus. Now, I'm going to go straight to Gigalift right here just for this one. Alrighty, so Gigalift. Let's go with the Moongus. Let's destroy Amoongus and its two big old Pokeballs right there. Let's go straight for a Fly Attack. And this guy coming with his X Attack. Okay, I see you. And wow, Fly misses. Oh, yes, okay, so now we're, yeah, well, we're not getting hit hard, but here we go, fly attack, come on. Stun Spore would have just messed us up right here, so here we go, fly attack. Nearly takes out Moongus, and, well, he's wasting a turn on the X attack right here, so let's go finish him off with the side beam attack. And uh, that's the end of that story right there. Gigalift kicking butt, and, well, he's going to be coming out with a Garbodor. Let's just continue on right here. Let's continue on with more side beams. Here we go. Side beam attack. Oh, yes. And then, uh, well, Garbodor is still. Oh, wow. It's hitting me with a toxic right here. Yeah, okay. So, here we go. Side beam attacks. Does it for the win. Oh, yes. Okay. And look at that. Gigalift grows to level 34 and is learning Mirror Move. Now, this is an interesting move that I could use, but I'm not because, uh, well, I'm not that much of a trainer. And, well, he's coming out with a Skelopede, so let's go ahead and switch it out to Oinkinator. Oink. And this guy looks like a unicorn. Not really a unicorn, but just like a... What does it look like? Huh. It looks like something you could ride into battle or something. And, well, of course, it's going to be using a agility attack. And that's a level 44. Wow, completely forgot to see that. And, well, he's going for X attacks. Okay, here we go. Get burned. Oinkinator going for the Ember attack. Oink. And there we go. Oinkinator does his thing. I am victorious. I am the greatest trainer ever. And, yes, we have proven our worth. And we've got the Soul Badge just to prove it. And look at this. And with that Soul Badge, the defense of your Pokemon increases. And it also lets you serve outside of battle. Ah, take this too. And we've got ourselves the TM06, which is toxic. It's a very good move. And, well, when afflicted by toxic Pokemon, suffer more and more as battle progresses. It will surely terrorize foes. That's pretty cool. That is awesome because... <laughs> One of my Pokemon's actually getting terrorized right now. Whew, okay. So. Wow. Um, what can I say, guys? It was a long time coming, but yes, we finally can surf, and, uh, yeah. My thing is this. In the next episode, I am going to try the, the Missing No Cheat, Okay. You can do it from uh, the Seafoam Islands. Believe it or not, you can. I don't know how I discovered that. But we're going to try it out and see if it actually works. Now, I get it. Many of you guys are like, well, he's going to power up his Pokemon to defeat Sabrina like this. No, 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 no. We're going to defeat Sabrina the old-fashioned way before we get into, like, the Cinnabar Islands and all that stuff. So we're going to go missing no cheat and then uh, defeat Sabrina. And then from there, we're gonna, you know, the whole world, uh, the whole Pokemon world is our, is our old, a, our, you know, our little eggshell, it's a, you know, whatever. You know what I mean. The whole world is ours. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.